Good day! Here are the stories for the Manila Times for Tuesday, November 2, 2021. A senior research fellow of the country's independent pandemic monitor said there is no reason why the national capital region cannot slide down to alert level 2 within the next 14 days. The NCR or Metro Manila is under alert level 3 until November 14, but business groups led by Presidential Advisor Jose Maria Joy Concepcion III are calling on the government to bring down the level to 2 to enable more businesses to reopen and recover from pandemic losses. Okta Group Senior Research Fellow Dr. Guido David said Metro Manila can be alert level 2 despite the threat of the Delta Plus or AY4.2 subvariant in other countries. Senator Panfilo Ping Lacson voiced support for the proposal to tap safe nuclear power to wean the country from fossil fuels amid the rising prices of oil and gas in the global market. The presidential candidate said turning to safe nuclear power can be a viable option in addressing rising fuel costs. The Partido Reforma chairman and standard bearer made the remark during a presidential forum last Saturday where he laid out his future-proof economic strategies for the Philippines. This forum was organized by the Financial Executives Institute of the Philippines, Federation of Filipino-Chinese Chambers of Commerce and Industry, Signal TV, and the Manila Times. As the nation paused to remember its dead, President Rodrigo Duterte called on Filipinos to pray for their countrymen who succumbed to COVID-19 and for the safety of those fighting to survive the pandemic. In his message to the nation on All Saints Day and All Souls Day, the chief executive urged citizens to continue praying for the country and for each other. Over to business, the government is sticking to its 4-5% economic growth target for this year, but the economy should grow by more than 5% in the second half of the year to attain the upper of its target, the finance department said. Secretary Carlos Dominguez III in a press chat said the Development Budget Coordination Committee is holding on to its target as announced in their last meeting. The government earlier revised downward the economic growth target to 4-5% this year from 6-7% to to take into consideration the highly contagious Delta variant's impact on the economy. The country's gross domestic product grew by 11.8% in the second quarter of the year, a turnaround from the negative 17% record in the same quarter last year. In sports, the Philippine national Pumse team hauled medals at the online 2021 World Taekwondo Pumse Challenge 3 slated from September 27 to October 31. Filipino Angelica Gao won a gold medal in the female open individual under 30 event with 7.650 points, edging out Thailand's Fenkanya Faisan Kaitiakun with 7.530 points. Antonio Contreras and Diane Macabenta are today's front page columnists. Contreras rages over a previous column that caused him to be banned from Facebook while Macabenta asks, how can one be the president of the Philippines? Today's editorial discusses the latest developments on the issues surrounding the AUKUS Alliance. Read a full version on the paper's opinion section or listen to the voice of the Times. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print, subscribe to its digital edition, or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and keep up with the Times. On behalf of the Manila Times, this is Eric John C. Co. reporting. Have a safe week ahead.